Hello! Today we are going to do a short tutorial to learn how to use the Bake tool in Mat Plus in more depth. In this video, we are going to look at the four possible ways to perform a bake. The first way, the most basic one, is to perform a bake with a low poly geometry without using any high poly geometry. The second option is the most common case. We have a low poly mesh and a high poly mesh, and what we want is to transfer all the detail from the high poly to the low poly. The third option comes when we are working with several low poly objects and several high poly objects. In this case, we can use the match by name tool, which allows us to automate the entire process very quickly and efficiently. And finally, we have the situation where we only have a single low poly object and several high poly objects. This process may seem complex, but in Mat Plus, it becomes extremely simple. Our first option is very straightforward. We go into the Bake tab, and the first thing we need to do is decide at which resolution we want to work. Next, we can adjust the map settings to achieve a more optimal result. For example, we can increase the radius of the edges. We also have a very useful tool, adding a bevel to the normal map. This will round all the edges of our geometry, giving it a much more realistic and detailed look. We can see how even in this simple geometry, by enabling the normal bevel tool, we achieve a much better result. Now let's see how we can bake from a high poly object to a low poly object. The process is very similar. We go into the Bake tool and select our resolution. Then we need to indicate in which collection our high poly object is located. We select the collection, and immediately we see that our low poly object is temporarily replaced by the high poly. At this point, we access the Adjust Cage tool. Mat Plus automatically generates a cage from our geometry which makes the baking process easier and ensures better results. If we prefer, we can also choose a custom cage. With the extrusion tool, we can adjust its size. And we also have the adaptive option, which allows the cage to intelligently fit the geometry for a better result. This tool is really powerful and can significantly improve our normal map bakes. During the process, we can keep the viewport in solid mode, since it is not really necessary to be in cycles to perform the bake. If at any point we need to edit the bake maps and check how they are working, we can use the Preview Edit Map tool to visualize them directly. Finally, we simply click on the Bake option and wait for the process to finish. In this situation, we have several low-poly objects and their corresponding high-poly versions. In this example, we have three geometries, the head, which has its own material, and the neck and base, which share the same material and therefore the same UV map. In the top window, 
Mat plus materials. We can indicate which materials we want to work with for the baking process. Then, as always, we choose the resolution at which we want to bake. Here we find a button called Match by Name, which is the tool we are going to use this time. When we enable it, we can choose a collection. In that collection, we must place all our high poly geometries. Next, we see a section where we can define which suffix we are going to use for our low and high versions. For everything to work correctly, it is very important that the low poly and high poly objects have exactly the same name and that they use the suffix we have set in this section. Once everything is properly configured, we click the Match Objects button, and Mat Plus will automatically connect each low poly object with its corresponding high poly version. In addition, each material has its own configuration, both for resolution and for the map settings values. This allows us to have maximum control over the final result of our bakes. Finally, when everything is ready, we just click the Bake button and wait for the process to finish. Our last option is to work with a single low poly object and several high poly objects. This process is extremely simple. We go into the Bake tool and select the collection where all our high poly objects are located. Then we adjust the cage to obtain the best possible result. If needed, we configure the map settings. And finally, we just click the Bake button to start the process. And with this, we have seen the four main ways to perform a bake in Mat Plus, from the most basic method with a single low poly to more advanced setups with multiple objects. As you can see, Mat Plus offers very powerful tools to simplify the process and achieve high quality results quickly and efficiently. See you in the next tutorial, where we will continue exploring more functions and tricks of Mat Plus.